Welcome ladies and gentlemen, I'm Alor24 and this is episode 4, The Road to KSP2. I'll be flying to the planet of Gauss, a gas giant with two moons and one of the moons has a double moon. And the first part of the video will be the construction of the vehicle, which is uh, sped up most of the time about 15 times because um, as all KSP players know the construction of a vehicle is like um, yeah it's um, well do it fail and try to learn from your mistakes and then retry again I made a very large um, upper stage with um, liquid fuels and the nerve engines and um, I tried to take two landers with me and the construction um, and the la of the lander was yeah taking um, up the huge time of the construction and although this little two-stage vehicle in spite of uh, knowing it better I try operating it without fins first um, both moons I wanted to land on the moon with the double moon um, do have atmosphere um, which uh, this information will become um, very relevant later because I, well, kind of forgot and, well, adding fins to them make them more stable and I um, knew that um, this wasn't really sufficient to get in uh, Gale's or Kerbin's orbit um, but it was just missing a few hundred um, meters per second so I uh, constructed um, a few side tanks um, with uh, the smaller engines with this yeah that I tried to figure out um, yeah well I need two of them one was supposed to be reusable some side tanks to add some delta V to the main craft and well although they were not very stable I thought well with um, some careful maneuvering they'll be fine um, which should be really the model of this channel it'll be fine so I had a power and the docking ports for the landers um, some RCS and um, well then it goes to the construction of the part um, that take us out of the orbit of Gale because uh, this is a massive ship well I needed a massive first and second stage due to the fact that um, the construction there are no engine plates in version um, case P 1.4 which, uh, to my knowledge, um, please correct me in the comments if you, if I'm wrong. Um, which, to my knowledge, is um, the one that's working the best with um, the Galileo Planet Pack. And as you see, I make really huge bo boosters. Um, I initially tried six of them, but they would uh, clip into each other. So as you can see there, um, so I, I decided well, four will suffice. Um, which it really did but the testing of this vehicle I didn't want to exclude this from the video because it was like KSP is um, a lot of science engineering but it's a lot of fun especially if you know that you didn't strut up your craft properly and there you can see well the construction uh, of my um, upper stage um, didn't really hold the rest of the vehicle and it was good for some good explosion so rule number two for KSP is you need more struts if you don't know rule number one rule number one is always more boosters so there I find out that the staging um, is not sufficient as uh, Scott Manley the god of KSP as some might call him, um, says, check your staging. Mm. 
so after some more strutting up and some more reinforcement girders um, and some sorting out um, it kind of worked okay uh, staging was was working but um, as I staged you can see there there was an imbalance because um, one of the ejected stages ripped an engine off but I decided that is good enough and you can see here and now I launch and you can see what's missing um, because a lot of the wobbling um, was due to the landers attached to the side and um, so I didn't want to strut them up indefinitely and I really tried um, I decided well um, I just want to end this part of the series so the part um, in the Galileo plant system I'll be looking at um, some other um, cool KSP mods in the future episodes but this will be the last episode in the Galileo plant system and um, so a lander for all the moons um, I just left them out but I kept the docking ports at the top part and um, well interestingly enough um, it worked and this thing wobbled itself into orbit really good and it got uh, far more stable once um, more stages got dropped So there we go, we're almost in orbit, that's just some finicking involved and um, for the transfer, um, the transfer to Gauss I um, didn't really know if a transfer window planner mod was working in this uh, solar system so I decided to just um, burn um, out of the sphere of influence of uh, Gale and in the well, to, to, to the solar system, to the sun's sphere of influence and set up my maneuver to get to Gauss there. And it's, well, with these gas giants it's quite easy to get an encounter. The smaller, the smaller plants, they are really, really finicky to get to, but uh, this was quite easy. And as you will see um, soon, there I'll just try to get a maneuver to the to Gauss, and then later I try to get a direct encounter with a braking maneuver um, at the periapsis of Gauss to get to the moons. So there we are. It's um, really I can't marvel enough how beautiful this planet pack is. Um, the textures are really, really good looking, and it's. Um, contributes to the fun you have in this planet system. So we get up an encounter with the double moon system and I try to set up a maneuver midway after the periapsis um, to get to the moon's moon but um, well I kind of forgot stuff throughout as you'll see this uh, video will all of course include my favorite uh, screw-ups and um, apart from the construction screw-up which was really funny at the beginning where my uh, craft just wobbled itself to death there I forgot um, kind of the basics of my research and why I was putting a heat shield on the landers. It's because these plants do have atmosphere which extends quite far out into space, much further than gale or um, carbon for that matter. And there's the big braking maneuver. And then I realized, uh, yeah, the atmosphere is kind of far out from the moon. But it helps with braking and the craft didn't explode. 
and there th that happened earlier yeah i was checking before i went yeah atmospheric height 130 kilometers so i saved some delta v by aero braking which i seriously didn't plan for but um this episode is just for visiting and taking a look at it and not landing or so I thought there I tried to push um, the marker um, towards a better inclination that's why I don't burn straight retrograde just as it uh, touches the 270 degree retrograde marker so I have a nice orbit almost around the equator and I set up uh, the maneuver at the periapsis because of the long braking process my periapsis was almost at the surface or not far from it and I set up an alarm because I wanted to finish the video I kind of forgot that KSP was running and as I was editing this video I heard a lot of background noises and then I found out well um, KSP was running and I kind of forgot the maneuver and so there I was landing inadvertently so thanks for watching and see you soon